Based on these two laboratories, we conducted a series of innovative research to truly apply near-infrared technology where it can be most effective. For example, when I first introduced near-infrared, it was initially used for detecting feed ingredients or conventional agricultural indicators. So, I applied near-infrared technology to the detection of these conventional indicators, specifically the seven conventional indicators. But what about the other indicators? For the other indicators, we looked for correlations with these seven conventional indicators. You can do this through big data analysis, in-depth data mining, or algorithm construction, among other methods, because this is actually within our scope. During the database work process, we were inspired by a professor from the United States. What did they ask us to do? A bioinformatics analysis to examine the correlations between different indicators. At that time, we did not succeed. Why didn't we succeed? The data we obtained had very chaotic sources and foundations. To complete this task, we collected every available database from around the world, gathered all available data and raw materials, and then conducted a unified analysis. There is a trend, but the overall results are not satisfactory. Why is that after our analysis? Because the foundational data is different. Think about it. A database from the 80s compared to one from the 90s will definitely have differences. Their detection methods and evaluation systems are not the same. However, we did not abandon this idea due to failure. Over time, we absorbed many external resources that could be integrated into our big data. We conducted comprehensive statistical analysis and in-depth mining. The results were very satisfactory. This led to the formation of our comprehensive precise animal nutrition solution, 